Come no closer, unless you wish to experience what my vials contain firsthand. I am Tane, a freed man, and I plan to stay that way. Trust is not given freely, Exile. It must be earned, and then you have not earned mine yet. But I do have something to give you. An opportunity. You guys know I was in here talking to someone, right? How rude. Now, what were you saying, sir? Good day. Come no closer, unless you wish to experience what my vials contain firsthand. I am Tane, a freed man, and I plan to stay that way. Trust is not given freely, Exile. It must be earned, and then you have not earned mine yet. But I do have something to give you. An opportunity. My master called alchemy the science of turning learned men to fools. Every harpwit with an alembic would try to turn lead to gold or formulate an elixir of eternal youth. And Master Lucan was no different. But men like him rarely saw the magic in alchemy up close. The sudden bubbling of a liquid. The heat growing in your hands. The vibrant colors and foul odors. Much knowledge is lost at a safe distance. In truth, the power of alchemy is not in turning one thing into another or creating miracles. It is in isolating and extracting. It is about finding purity within the confusion. In Oriath, I served a man named Lucan Octavius, a wealthy alchemist of high status. I call him my master for I was both his apprentice and his slave. Lucan's work required handling extremely dangerous, often very hot materials. Not the sort of thing becoming of a man of stature. So it came to be that a slave like myself learned the nuances of the alchemical arts firsthand. As for Lucan, he was not the man he portrayed himself to be. He was more dangerous, more explosive, and more unstable than any material I had to handle. In public, he was fatherly and genial. In his home, he was violent and lustful. I do not regret what happened to him. Only the part I played. What makes you you, or me me? Some say it is the soul. An intangible something that exists before we are born and carries on after death. But I have seen souls that walk the land here and show nothing that distinguishes them from the rats and the rowers. It is something else. Something no man has discovered. A whisper. A flickering flame that burns through every inch of our being until it is extinguished. But what if we can capture it before it burns away? Bottle it up. Save it. And perhaps even give it a new wick through which to burn once more. You will find no shortage of ferocious beings near here. Kill them. Cut from their flesh a sample and bring the samples to me. We will discover the essence of being. Okay. Okay. These samples you've salvaged, though gruesome, hide within them countless secrets. Flesh and blood and bone and sinew, all but a veil. The mask that hides what truly drives us. I speak of the intrinsic darkness. The base desires and instincts that we all fight yet rarely defeat. This darkness hides within us, waiting for a moment of weakness. A moment when it can take control. A cruel and invisible slave driver. But we can coax it out. My master called it Sinner's Water. A concoction he spent much of his life perfecting. He would give it to his children and scribble notes as they beat me. In truth, I do not believe his concoction worked any more than his elixir of immortality, but that did not soften their blows. His formula was wrong, but his idea was sound. My formula works, as you will see. Please, drop the samples in the jar and ready your weapons. You are about to witness the darkness that drives us. Ah, okay.
No! No, what the hell killed me? Got him. Ooh. You see now what we face, Oriathan. That was what slept within the creatures just near here. What darkness sleeps within me, or within you? 
And if we can draw out that darkness, might we then be able to draw out that which makes us... us? Think on this. For when we next meet, we shall begin to seek the answer. Slow progress is still progress. Do not lose sight of what we work towards.